Hey there guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Italy and we are taking it, we're not taking it easy. We are going after the Soviets with a vengeance. Um, we are, we're pushing, we're pushing. The Soviets have very limited resources right now. Uh, we are uh, encircling and assaulting the British yet again. They've they've repeatedly pushed into France and we've repeatedly kicked them out of France, taking their casualty rate. Uh, that's the Soviet casualty rate, which is now on 17 million. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, UK casualty rate, casualty rate has really gone up as well, FYI. Um... So yeah, we're um let's how how is the the Soviet German war is going four percent in our favor in favor of the defenders. Uh we're pushing towards Kiev. We're hopefully going to take uh Moscow as well in the next, and then after that we'll probably kind of run up along this river, maybe, as the next assault and take uh Stalingrad. Um, obviously it's, uh, it's a little bit iffy, uh, in certain parts, you know, like, like the battle is going well, but it's going badly, all these kind of things. Um, holy crap, their Field Marshal Mikhail Tuka, tu, Tukachevsky is, uh, level 9, skill level 9. Uh, our Ugo Cavallero. Is uh, six, but he's he's got some good stuff: logistics, defensive, offensive, fast planner. You know these kind of things. It's good. Um, we're having a fight out here. A couple of cruisers. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to look at these because, uh, as you can see, most of them are naval bombings um, that don't really get anywhere. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're pushing in. Uh, I'd love to take Kiev. If we can. So I'm actually going to send a lightning, uh, a, a unit of, a company of lightning in there. See if we can uh, get it quickly before they stop us. Gives us 25 victory points. I assume uh, that's kind of wrong. I assume that that's going to up our victory point condition. Uh, maybe it just did. Yeah, it looks like it just did. Fall of Kiev. Kiev, the capital of the Ukrainian SSR, has been captured by advancing German armies. Pretty sure it's captured by the advancing Italian armies. The German armies are all everywhere. Uh, the capture of one of the most important cities is a serious blow to the Soviets, but the question still remains whether the Germans can keep up their momentum. Moments after the Germans had occupied the city, thousands of mines planted by the NKVD were apparently detonated in buildings uh, along the Christian Main Street, causing even more damage to the already ruined city. Now the invading forces look east. So yeah, we've, we've pretty much got to our, f got to our first... Uh, to our first milestone. Next one being this one. Uh, coming down here is obviously going to be uh, something that we want to do. Uh, I'm not sure if we take Sevastopol. Um, how about you guys do this. There you go. Keep, go keep moving forward, guys. Keep moving forward. How are we doing out and around here? Some French subs and destroyers about the place. The troop movements are getting a little bit memed on. It's fine, really. So we take this. Do we go down the south? Yeah, it looks like we do go down partially down the south there. Okay. For now, it's a little bit disorganized. It's a little bit whatever. Um, if we push down here, actually, weirdly enough, 
uh, and we break into here, that's we may be able to cut them off even. How are we doing up the north here? Uh, it's not as hectic up the north. And it looks looks like they're um Oh they're defending there, I guess, but uh yeah, we we've got Kiev and we've got a little fortification at Kiev as well, which should help us. Lovely. Um Defensively, yeah, we're doing fine. Offensively, we're doing pretty well. I wonder if they've taken all of their units off the uh Basically, if if, China, if this whole China-Japan thing hadn't have gone down, uh, I wonder if we'd already have destroyed the Soviets. Thank you. Uh, some naval combat down here. We're still chasing the British, it looks like, there. Uh, assault's going fine up there. Defense's going fine up there. Greece, the Greece, Greece units uh, looks like look, looks like they're having some issues with men. Maybe I don't know what their issues there are. That could start to slow us down. You know what? Let's take a pause here. Let's take a pause for the cause. Uh, a lot of these guys need to move up for some reason. Huh, okay. So yeah, we'll pause there. We'll see. We'll we'll uh, we'll start assaulting again soon. Even some of these units, attrition, oh damn. Okay, maybe the attrition present is the winter stuff. The winter combat, maybe. Oh, I mean, shot down one of those planes, that's cool. Okay, uh, so we've got some mechanized equipment that we could start building. We've got the uh, rocket interceptors, which I don't really feel like we need to make. Uh, we are not quite down to there yet, but we are building heavy fighters. We will start be building uh, other fighters too soon, hopefully. Unfilled import requests, I can only... Oh, it's Romania. Okay. Weird. Um, we're still a little bit low on oil, but that's fine. Right, right. Lost three convoys over there. That's uh, not amazing, but we'll live. Uh, hmm. So why is the outlook so bleak here? Is it because they're not in position? We were doing really well for a while. Let's have a look over here. So reinforcements wise, we have uh, manpower going out. We have uh, lots of equipment going out. Upgrades wise, we have a lot of anti-tank needing to go out. Some towed artillery. Uh, a lot of infantry equipment still to go. A lot of light tanks still to go. Let's actually go up here and see. So, advanced artillery, you've got about three grand, three grand worth of, well, four grand worth of artillery needing to go out. About 200 anti-tank. Um, we've got about 1,800 light tanks to go out. And about 17,000 infantry equipment. So, honestly, our infantry equipment is doing well. We're really catching up on that. Because it was a lot more. Um, I'm happy about that. I don't know why the Spanish are running around like that either, to be honest. Mm. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I shouldn't keep checking these out because, you know, as you can see, they keep on cropping up. Uh, yeah, the national U the national union of Greece is not doing its best right now. Why is that 
uh, why is that unit so low on strength? Oh, it's uh, hungry. Uh, it's not Italy. Italy. Okay, it's not Italy. Stop it, sheepy. Stop looking. It's never going to change. It's never going to change. Uh, okay, so we've got East Africa and the Middle East. Uh, we've got problems with uh, planes. Not really, it doesn't look like, but uh, a little bit there. It's not really a problem, though. This is the thing. Uh, so, yeah, in southern, southern France, really? Got 100 enemy fighters in southern France. All right. That's cool. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like they're building up their forces again. I'm not sure how they've managed to do this so quickly. Uh, the light tanks, the motorized, we've got 10 grand worth of motorized available to us. Uh, what else was new here? Don't know, okay. Um, we need, we need to, we need to keep building these. Uh, which is going very well. Like, we're getting military factories pretty quickly. And then we'll, we'll of course, be repairing military factories as well. The, uh... The amount of air bombers and things that we have on us is not as good. The German army is being, at best, an arse. Like yeah yeah I've I've got a lot covering uh I've got a lot covering France but that's just because they keep invading France basically you know uh our fighters here in northern France are doing pretty well I feel do we have any all of our aces have died unfortunately um enough of that got they got like seven dudes there. Uh, you know what we should do? Jesus. You know what? Let's talk to uh, Grace. Hey, Grace. Uh, they'll give control. Oh, they'll accept control of the expeditionary force. Uh, no, I, I want to give back the exp expeditionary force they sent me. I don't want it. Okay, so I can return their expeditions, but I have to, ret I have to legitimately return them. Okay, we've got the atomic research done. Cool. Uh, nuclear reactor. Sure, what does that do? Not that much, I don't think, but okay, cool. Uh, Alright, so, what we want to do... Stop that. Uh, please stop that. Uh, what we want to do is we want to... Uh, get all of Greece. How do I get all of Greece? How do I... Do I just have to go through and select them all? That's going to be a freaking chore. Well, this is going to be a really boring episode, guys. Sorry. But this has to be done. No, that's not Greece. That's all hungry. And then that's lightning and stuff. So there we go. Get these guys this. And then head back to Greece.
There you go, head back to Greece, guys. Hopefully, what this will do, will this, this will uh, in, encourage the Germans to uh, move their troops over onto this front line. And we're going to do the same with the Hungary. Sorry, there we go. Gyalgol Dandir? Gyalgol Dandar. Dan Dandar. Dunno. Okay, so that's all hungry. That's all hungry. Any more hungry? Oh yeah, there's a whole load more here. Awesome. Okay, another army. And then they are going to go... Which one's hungry? <laughs> They're going to go back to there. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to get in contact with Spain. Uh, expeditionary... I can't... Why can't I... You don't have any expeditionary for... How do I... I don't get it. I don't get it. How do I return these things? So... Okay, so I can't... Okay, so, we're going to keep this running while I just do this. How do you return an expeditionary force? Uh, diploma diplomacy se select country. If you have received, you should have a button labeled. After you click it, clicked it, choice of which divisions you want to return takes one month. The troops are still inside your territory at the end of that month. The AI will just give them back as extra vision. So you need to return them as described. You also need to kick them out of your borders. Okay. So. Return X. Oh. Okay, so I, I can't actually return them. Well then. I guess what we'll do is we'll put these guys together. Uh, and we'll give them a... Uh, we don't have any field marshals available. You know what we will do, actually? We'll new commander and we'll... Who's the new commander? Him. Promote. Okay. There you go, mate. And now what we'll do is we will garrison uh, this, 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 this. Wow, so they just gave me all of their troops and they're like, hey, do whatever you want with these troops, man. And I'm like, um, Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll just uh, do all of this. Because why not? There we go, there we go. If we just garrison all of this, basically, uh, it hopefully means that the Germans will uh, l slack off a bit in the sense of being arses. Uh, and we can stop worrying about... Uh, what the bloody hell Germany's doing. Which quite often, more often than not, is not very much. And we'll include this, and this, and this, and this for now. There we go. It does mean we could probably mo use more troops here, to be honest. Um... But also, at the same time, I don't think they were doing much good anyway. Not really. 
So we'll keep Spain uh, guarding Spain's borders. We'll keep guarding our, our Africa. Well, pretty much our Africa now. Uh, we could go after Portugal, maybe. Uh, I don't think I want to at this point. I don't think adding anyone else in who hasn't been in the World Wars is going to benefit us at all, really. Uh, oh, naval invasions. Naval invasions, of course you do. Uh, air superiority going on. We should maybe put like a hundred. How many planes do we have in reserve? Um, have a look. Got 192 heavy fighters. Damn. Uh, so let's put these fighters in. Let's put them up to a hundred. Uh, yep. And we'll have them in southern France. Just doing whatever. Uh, I think what we should do is we should add in here, uh, cancel, I think we should add in here, add in some heavy fighters, let's make it a uh, hundred, yeah, we have them in here as well, and they will be uh, intercepting an S priority, there we go, jolly good. What I basically want to do now, uh, for the most part, is build up our... Okay, so there's only 44 dudes here at the moment. We should add in some AA, to be honest. But at this point, again, it's kind of like, eh. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get the more. Are we getting more fighters in, or? Yeah, they, they, they should be coming in soon, it looks like. Um, Alright, how are we doing over here? They're not attacking us. We've got some German army troops in here. I don't know if they're, like, moving over or... It looks like they're all garrisoning, but that might just be our guys moving over. Putting all of our troops on that. Thank you. Not even our troops, but look, look at their strength. Like their strength is their strengths at the moment. Th moment are pitiful. Uh, we don't want to be making them do much, really. Um, so what can we do here? Uh, we could change our exports. We don't really need to. We could change one of these guys. Is there anything that would help us? Uh, wh what's he? He's political power gain, ideology, drift, defense. Quartermaster would make these things quicker to build. That would be nice. Do we have a quartermaster? Captain of Industry, Prince of Terror. We don't really need the gain or anything like that. I think we go with the Quartermaster General. Because that will make every, all of these things, like air bases, naval bases, rocket sites, radio, radar stations, you know, it'll help uh, to a certain extent. What's he doing all the way back there? Well, uh, you know what you guys want to do... Uh, Actually, you know, you know what we want to do? We want to pause very quickly. It's going to be the end of the episode fairly soon. But what we want to do is we want an offensive line from here. No, please, 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 please. There we go. Uh, up here. And up to here. There we go. It's a very bold offensive line. But um, I'm down. I'm down with it. So I assume these guys are going to be moving a bit. Oh, not as much as you think. Okay. Organization isn't amazing uh, on on a few of these guys, but that's fine. We basically want to entrench for a bit here and just build up our forces, uh, possibly. Stop. Stop that. Um, we're still running around chasing these two freaking cruisers. Of course we are. Of course we are. Okay, sweet. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Learn it. Live it. Uh, Germany's putting a couple of troops around there for some reason. Not going to complain. And then all of our uh, forces are going in here. Hopefully what, what this will mean is the German forces, which are like, you know, they're full strength. They're probably decently trained. Hopefully it means that they're going to come to the Eastern Front and we can actually start, you know, like, th this This is a perfect point where I'd be like, yo, uh, co-op partner. Um, I wish I had a co-op partner. Yeah, I do. 
Uh, yo, co-op partner, um, how about you, how about I fortify the line, you know, defensively, and then you push? And that would mean, like, if, if there's a counterattack, I could at least, you know, deal with that to a certain extent. Um, because my manpower's fucked, kind of. Uh, but there's no way to, like, suggest to them... I mean, I could give them my guys as an expeditionary force, that may help. But, again, honestly, like, I don't think they're gonna do much with them. They're just gonna sit them there and be like, meh, whatever. Ugh. Okay, I think I think that's sufficient for for today. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get back on this rodeo. Uh, it's eighth of May, nineteen. Let's find out very quickly though uh, how long it goes for. Uh, Hearts of Iron for uh, end date. Uh, I think you get a score screen in nineteen forty eight, but you can keep. You can choose to keep playing forever, not with a bang, but with a win whimper. Uh, there is an end date, pretty sure it's 1950 or thereabouts. 1948. After that, you can choose to keep continue playing. The, st the scoring takes place in 1948. So we have got, like, three years or so to keep going. Um, at this point, I think it was... Was it pretty much all over? I think it was pretty much all over by this point. So, yeah. Well, regardless, I think we go to the score screen, as this is our first time, and we're going to try and make the Soviets uh, surrender. Whether we can do that or not, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll find out. But, yeah, I, I think I think we'll go to, the, to that, and then we'll start looking at mods and things like that, and you know, we'll see what we can do. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps me out a lot, and of course, I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.